In this video, we're going to show you how to use Adobe Camera Raw and its crop abilities to quickly and easily batch resize and custom crop a folder of images. To do that, uh, we're going to use Adobe Camera Raw even though we're dealing with JPEGs. This same technique will work if you have raw files to begin with as well as if you were dealing with JPEGs. To start off with, I'll select a single image and open up the Camera Raw processor. I just press Control or Command R. Some things that we want to pay attention to before we get started. First off is this little hyperlink down at the bottom that opens up our workflow options. And in most cases, you're going to leave this size set to your native camera resolution uh, image size, which in this case is a 12.7 megapixel image size. So we can see our pixel dimensions are 4368 by 2912. The 2912 being our vertical dimension. So we'll just press OK on that since we have that set where we want. Now let's look at our crop tool. And if we press and hold down on that, we'll see the different crop options that we have. We can go to a normal crop, which lets me basically choose whatever aspect ratio size or shape that I like and it crops the image to that area. When I do that I'll see down here now my pixel dimension image size will change and it shows me the crop size is now 2377 pixels by 2426 pixels. We'll go ahead and hold down on the crop thing again and say clear we can come in and specify specific aspect ratios. So if I say I want a one-to-one -one crop, wherever I crop on that image is going to be square, and it's going to give me whatever that cropped pixel dimension is. So down here again you'll see that's 1399 by 1399. As I make the crop larger, that crop dimension down here will get bigger as well. I can also right click and choose clear crop. While the crop tool is selected I'm going to right click and this time go to custom. Under custom I have four different options. I can do a ratio, I can do a pixel dimension, I can do an inch dimension or a centimeter dimension. For this example I know that I want to do a pixel dimension and I know I want my output size to be 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So this is going to crop for a square. So when I drag my crop on the image now, jump down here at the bottom, we see I'm looking at 500 pixels by 500 pixels. As I drag that crop larger, I still get that same 500 pixel by 500 pixel dimension. If I come back in and right click and go to whoops, custom again, and change this to 400, by 500 pixels. We see the aspect ratio changes and as I drag the crop I can drag the corners in to go vertical or drag for horizontal so you don't need to keep in mind a vertical or horizontal dimension. Let's go back and change this to be our 500 pixels square. Drag the crop the way we like it. Position it. Now when I choose Save Image, I've already placed a folder for this to go to. I'll press Save and Done. We'll come back to Bridge and we'll look at that cropped image. We'll open that into Photoshop and if we come under Image, Image Size, we see that it has rendered that out at a 500 pixel dimension just like we set. Really handy to be able to use your crop tool to specifically size an image coming out of Adobe Camera Raw. Okay, let's continue on now and look at selecting multiple images and cropping them all at the same time. So we'll just click on the first image, shift click on the last image. Once again, press Command or Control R. Those will open up in Adobe Camera Raw. To start with, we'll press the Select All button to make sure all of the images are highlighted. We'll go to our Crop tool, and it remembered the last crop that we put in there, so if we want to continue to use that, we'll leave that in there. 
and we'll grab the first image and just crop it the direction that we want. And if you notice the thumbnails on the left side, they're all being cropped now to a square. What's interesting to note is as you switch between vertical and horizontals, the image crop is not exactly the same, but that's very easy to just come in, grab the corners, and recrop those going through. So I can move through this series of what was left of 14 images, apply the crop that I want to all of them. Very quick and easy. Now that they're all cropped the way that I want them to do, B, I'll just press select all again, press save images, make sure they're going everywhere that I want them to be, press save and done. And when we jump and look into that cropped folder, we can see Adobe Camera Raw is rendering those out very quickly. So now I have taken all 15 of those images in just a matter of moments, cropped them all square, and sized them out to the specific pixel dimension that I want. Uses for this, if you have images that you want to upload to a social media site, uh, that you want to uh, put into a slideshow, that you need to apply cropping to very quickly, this is a great tool to use to go through this procedure. One last note. I've moved back into my original JPEG folder. You'll notice because I've cropped these through Adobe Camera Raw that they have this little crop symbol up in the corner. If I select a file and actually go to Reveal in Finder or on a PC Show in Explorer, I'll see that that JPEG is not actually cropped. I'm going to still see all of these images at their full aspect ratio. All the cropping that I've done has been applied through metadata, so the original image is not cropped. So I can undo this very quickly and easily. To undo this, I'll just select all of the images in this folder, right click on any one of the images, come to develop settings, and choose clear settings. This will remove any metadata changes that I've done to, this, to these images, which in this case is just going to remove the crop from all of them and take the images back to their native pixel dimension. So if I'm using this tool to batch crop, resize a folder of images for, uh, like a, to, to put online, once I'm done, I just want to come back in and clear that crop off so my images look like they really are.